This is a special Jeopardy competition, bringing together the greatest players of all time in the ultimate tournament of champions. It's 8 o'clock in Los Angeles and Jeopardy! rehearsals are already underway as Beth Schwartzberg walks through the doors of Stage 10. I don't think my life is going to change at all. I have a job I love and I have a life I love. I really don't plan on changing that at all. It's an environment the Santa Barbara resident says she's used to, winning before in two past episodes. Now she's back for the ultimate tournament of champions for a chance at $2 million and a face-off with the game's most notorious player, Ken Jennings. Bev first stepped on the stage back in 1992 and again in 1993. She took home $85,000, but she didn't use it to buy a car, a house, or even take a vacation. She used it to better her already sharp mind. I, I took a trip to Alaska and, you know, I spent it, the following eight years um, at UCSB in graduate school. After a quick legal meeting with Jeopardy! staff, Bev is off to hair and makeup and says one last prayer that her preparation will pay off. I would read the almanac pretty much um, as I was commuting to school <laughs> on, the, on the van. Uh, and that was pretty much it. Let's make it a true daily dog. Players then can be in a mock game, testing out microphones, quiz board, and the buzzers contestants use to key in their answer. Oh. Rehearsal goes well, and Bev is feeling confident. Watch yes. step down, Bev. And then the moment Four, of truth. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hop on! You do now. Today she's an adult literacy coordinator from Santa Barbara, California. Bev Q. Alex. Bev, Sahir, and Michael, good to see you again. Here we go. A lot of the success of Jeopardy is really because of the simplicity of the format. Everyone understands it. You notice we never explain the rules of the show at the beginning because everyone knows how you play. But suddenly, a break in taping. A computer shows the buzzer Bev is using isn't working. And as crews are called in, host Alex Trebek talks about why the show has been so successful. The fact that we are dealing with intelligent people, the fact that Americans everywhere are very competitive and they watch the show and they play along and they match their intellectual skills against the three bright people who are the contestants on our program. So you get a chance to gauge how bright you are. One audience member asked what Alex thinks about the former Saturday Night Live skits poking fun at the show. Alex names Will Ferrell as one of his favorites. It kind of upset me that he was leaving because they don't do takeoffs of Jeopardy anymore since he left the program. And uh, I had shaved my mustache to make it easier for him to portray me. After a 30 minute break, taping resumes. And in the final round of Jeopardy, Bev squeaks out a win by $100. I was very surprised. I actually was much more nervous during the show than I was during any previous shows. Um, and, but it's been a long time since I've been on. Adrian Moore, KSBY 6 Action News.